are you one of those people who your knees start to ache just before a storm hits or your fingers feel stiff on a cold morning? If so, you are not alone. A lot of people believe that there is a connection between weather changes and their joint pain. Some people even believe that they can predict the weather with their joints. But is this just an old wife's tale or does science actually back this up? In this video, I'll be discussing what a new research study says about how weather really affects joint pain. I'll break down the findings, discuss how you can use this information to manage your symptoms better, and even touch on why acceptance of this can make a big difference. So whether you're dealing with arthritis or other joint issues and are curious if or if not, the weather can really affect joint pain, stick around because I've got some answers for you. For centuries, people have believed that weather impacts how their joints feel. Even the ancient Greek physician Hippocrates talked about it. But until recently, the scientific evidence has been all over the place. However, some new research has given us a clearer picture. A meta-analysis published in 2023 reviewed 14 studies involving over 2,100 people with osteoarthritis. What they found is that, yes, weather does influence joint pain, but the way it does might surprise you. For starters, temperature plays a big role. The colder it gets, the more likely people are to feel increased pain. This might be why, during winter, some of us struggle more with stiffness and soreness. But it's not just the temperature. High humidity also plays a part. It doesn't directly cause pain, but it makes the discomfort feel worse. And then there's barometric pressure. That's the one to really watch out for. When air pressure drops, like right before a storm, many people with arthritis feel their pain levels spike. It's almost like your joints are little weather forecasters. So why does weather impact how our joints feel? To understand this, we need to look at what science tells us. Although exact reasons are not fully understood, the research clearly shows that specific weather elements like temperature, humidity, and barometric pressure are directly linked to how people with osteoarthritis experience pain. Researchers have found that lower temperatures are associated with increased pain in people with osteoarthritis. This means that on colder days, joints tend to feel stiff and more painful. One reason for this could be that low temperatures slow down blood circulation, making joints less flexible and amplifying pain sensations. But that really is just an educated guess. High humidity also plays a role although its impact isn't as pronounced. Uh, the review found that high humidity tends to make pain feel worse, but it's not entirely clear why. One theory is that increased moisture in the air can change the pressure in the joint spaces, affecting how intensely pain is felt. The biggest impact, however, seems to come from changes in barometric pressure. The studies show a clear link between drops in pressure and spikes in pain level. This might be why people often say that they can feel a storm coming in their joints. The exact mechanism is still being studied, but researchers believe it has to do with the way barometric pressure affects the tissues in and around the joints, leading to increased tension and sensitivity. Another study that looked specifically at knee osteoarthritis found that these weather-related pain patterns are also influenced by the time of day and the season. For example, during winter, people reported higher pain levels in the morning, which decreased slightly by the evening. But in the summer, pain levels were more consistent throughout the day. This suggests that weather's impact on joints is a dynamic process and influenced by a complex interplay of environmental factors and individual biological rhythms. What's clear is that there is no one-size-fits-all explanation. The way weather affects your joints could depend on a combination of external conditions and your own body sensitivity. 
So while it might seem random that the exact causes are largely unknown, there is likely some real science behind why your pain fluctuates with the weather. All right, so we all know that weather isn't exactly in our control, but there are things that you can do to manage your symptoms better, even when the forecast isn't cooperating. When the temperature drops, the key is to stay warm and keep moving. Try wearing layers, especially over your affected joints, and using heating pads on sore joints to help ease stiffness. And don't forget to keep up some gentle movement. Something like stretching or a light walk can work wonders. When it's damp or humid outside, focus on keeping your environment dry. If you're indoors, using a dehumidifier can make a difference. And as for those sudden changes in barometric pressure, like uh, when a storm is coming, just try to plan for them. There really is nothing that you can do about the weather, but if weather changes have led to problems in the past, you can be prepared for them. Also, let's not overlook things like lifestyle modifications. Things like adhering to an inflammation-fighting diet, daily activity, and stress management can help reduce inflammation, which will make your joints feel less reactive to weather changes. It's not a quick fix, but every little bit helps. Look in the video description below for more information on a course that teaches strategies on how to lower your inflammation and improve your joint health so the weather affects them less. Finally, let's talk a little bit about acceptance. Research has shown that accepting pain rather than fighting against it can actually reduce how much pain you perceive. This doesn't mean just giving up. Instead, it's about acknowledging that your pain might be worse on some days because of things outside of your control, like the weather. By accepting these fluctuations, you can focus on what you can control, like staying active, keeping a positive mindset, and sticking to controllable behaviors known to improve joint health and pain. Acceptance might not change the weather, but it can change how you experience your pain. So to wrap up, does weather really affect joint pain? The research suggests that yes, it does. Whether it's cold temperatures, high humidity, or sudden drops in barometric pressure, the effect on your body is real. But the good news is that by understanding this, you can take steps to minimize the impact. Stay warm, keep moving, and listen to your body. And most importantly, practice a bit of acceptance and be kind to yourself on those days when things just feel harder. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with someone whose joints might be feeling under the weather. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more science-backed tips for living your best life, even when the weather is against you. Thanks for watching.